yourself, Mike. I had a win streak? He, no, Bryce Hopple, the guy you beat from Kansas, he had a 21 race win streak. <laughs> Oh, I mean, it's prelims, though. How's that? How did I break it? We count the prelims. Oh, you count? Oh, my bad. Okay. No, no, you're he counts. I, I guess I break it in. How, how did it feel out there? Oh, good. I got a little box in, so I know my coach probably got a little nervous, but I was like, I'll be fine. I just got to get top three. Were you thinking that with, like, you weren't nervous during the race? Like, what were you thinking when you got boxed out? I was a little nervous because I was like, everybody's going to be feeling good with 300 to go. Yeah. You know, it's such a slow race. I was like, we're all going to have to go. So I had to find my kind of lane out, and then once I won, I just had to, you know, keep it the last 200. Mm -hmm. But I anticipated like a strong headwind, so I was like, okay, I gotta save a little bit. Yeah. So, unique, how, unique mindset knowing that your top competitor in the final is your own teammate. Yeah, I mean, that's why we train together, you know? We train with the best. I think your coaches, you, both of you kind of found your way in, into some trouble today. Were your coaches be, have yeah, any Clay, words for Clay you? Was back there a little bit too? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, he was really boxed in. Yeah, I'm sure Pete's gonna. Alberto's his coach, and Pete's my coach, but they kind of intertwine our workouts and stuff, but still it'll be a little disappointing to us not listening to him. What about the final? Is it just gonna be like a, like a 143 race? What do you think it'll be? I don't know who's in it. I don't know what guy's gonna take it. If I'm gonna take it or someone else is gonna take it, but I think it will be. I would hope it to be an honest race. I haven't had one in a while, so. And what about tactical running in the 800? It's few and far between, but today it was there. How do you feel in that type of situation? Um, it felt good. Um, it felt comfortable. Like I said, I felt like everybody was going to feel good the last 300. So I was like, I have to just conserve myself and know the last 100 is going to hurt a little bit because of that win, but I felt comfortable. You notice you were pumping your arms like quite a lot towards the end. And it seems like you I usually do that like when you sprint. Is that something you've always done or is that something you've worked on since joining NOP? I think I've really loosened up my, my upper half of my body a lot. So yeah. I'm kind of opening up more. But I just wanted to do that because I knew it was going to be a strong headwind. You yeah. know? I still don't think that's my top gear, but that's definitely what I'm doing to try to get into my top gear. Yeah. You know? Do they, like, have they worked on your form at all? Like, I know that's something that Alberto no. does sometimes. No. No, they said I was a little fat. I might lose some weight, but besides that, like. <laughs> have you lost weight since you joined? Nah, I probably gained weight, honestly. <laughs> all right. All right. Thanks. Good luck.